Hello my dear friends. Welcome back to your science class. I hope you all have seen the first part of this video lesson number 2. Now let's move to the second part of lesson number 2. Name of the lesson is human body and part 2. The contents of this video are respiratory system, breathing process, air pollution and at last we will do exercises. Now we will move to the first topic that one is respiratory system. In respiratory system Three body organs are included. Name of these nose, windpipe, we can say trachea also, and third one lungs. The organs help in breathing are nose, windpipe, and lungs. Together they form respiratory system. These organs help us to breathe in fresh air and supply oxygen to all body parts through our blood and carbon dioxide rich air is released from our body. Now first organ, one by one we will read the organ. Nose. It is an organ through which the air enters in our body. There are two small openings in our nose as you can see in the picture. These two small openings are called nostrils. Some small hair present in our nose to prevent germs and dust entering in our nasal passage. As you can see in the picture, small small hair present in our nostrils. All the human beings are having two nostrils. Now, next organ is windpipe or trachea. It is a tube-like structure as you can see in the picture through which air enters in our body. Okay? And through trachea it goes to lungs. This is called, this tube-like structure is called trachea. At the end it is splits into two parts. And what are these? These are called bronchi. As you can see in the picture one is towards the right side, right lung, and another one towards the left lung. Here, next organ is lungs. Lungs are a pair of spongy organs located in the chest. The main function of the lung is to exchange of gases. Now, here is a note. The left lung is slightly smaller than the right one. Both the lungs are not of the same size okay as you can see in the picture two balloon like a structure or a sponge like a structures are there these are lungs now move to the next one that one is note here is a note for you children lungs are like sponges okay remember this note they look small but they take a lot of air inside them. Okay? Our lungs are like balloons also. Okay? When the air enters in that, they expand. Okay? Now our next topic is breathing. Okay? Breathing is a continuous process. Two processes are involved in this process. One is inhalation and another one is exhalation. As you can see in the first picture, when the air enters in our body, that one is oxygen rich air. Okay, this process is called inhalation. It is a process in which oxygen rich air enters in our body. And another one in the second picture, you can see that the Carbon dioxide rich air released out from our body. That is called exhalation. So we can say that breathing is a process of both inhalation and 
exhalation. Then working. How breathing works. Our body organs, how they work that time. At the time of inhalation, the oxygen rich air enters in our lungs. At that time, what will happen? Our lungs expand when the oxygen rich air enters. Our lungs expand. As you can see in the first picture, breathe in. Our chest expands and our ribs move out. You can see in the picture, first picture it is filled with air. That is inhalation. At the time of exhalation, when we exhale, the carbon dioxide rich air pushed out from our lungs through windpipe. Okay, that time our lungs relax. As you can see the second picture, our chest also relax and our ribs move back. You can compare both these. Breathe in. Lungs are filled with air and at the time of exhalation, that one is relaxed. Now, for that, you have to keep your lungs healthy. How you can keep your lungs healthy? Here are some steps. You can take first one, breathe in clean and fresh air. Second, certain exercises you have to do such as deep breathing that exercise makes lungs healthy avoid exposure to pollutant prevent infection and do yoga or meditation etc daily any other exercise also you can do to keep your lungs healthy now these are the steps you can do daily okay next topic is air pollution here you can see one picture is here one sad face is here why this is said hmm? do you know that why yes because atmosphere is not clean air is not clean that one cannot breathe properly in the dirty environment okay that dirty environment we call it what we call it air pollution yes when air becomes dirty due to presence of harmful substances it is called air pollution it occurs when harmful gases like dust particle smog and bad order are introduced into the air. Here are some examples like factories, smoke comes from factories, aeroplane, burning of wood and from the vehicles also. These all cause the air pollution. Now, air pollution, causes of air pollution, these are divided into two parts. One is natural cause, another one is man-made cause. First, we will go one by one. Natural causes, certain natural disasters such as volcanic eruption, as you can see in the picture, first one, dust storm and forest fire. These all the three are natural causes we cannot control these causes they all release huge amount of ash and smog and dirty air into the air dirty smog into the air and make it hazardous to breathe we cannot breathe in the dirty air so these are the natural causes now next one man-made causes some causes are created by human beings. They are called man-made causes. They are fumes from the factories and cars as you can see in the picture. Burning crackers 
and burning of garbage also burning of coal petroleum and wood etc they release harmful pollutants into the air now what are the problems due to air pollution here effects on human beings some effects of human beings air pollution is harmful for all the living organism when we breathe in air polluted when we breathe in polluted air it may cause many health problems these are ice burn and get watery cough sore throat tonsils nose block lung cancer and tuberculosis these all are the diseases or problems human being face now here are the effects on plants because plants are also living organism okay some are here as you can see air pollution causes damage to the trees vegetables fruits and flowers it brings acid rain trees die early and leaves get dry okay now we will go to the next effects on animals what are the effects here animals face breathing problem skin infection and many other diseases also due to air pollution now here are the ways how you can control the air pollution plant more and more trees as you can look in the picture first one more and more plant you can grow use bicycles for traveling short distance recycle reuse and reduce third one third as you can see in the logo also logo is here use paper or cloth bag instead of using plastic bag when you go to the market always carry your paper bag or cloth bag and last factories and industry should be located far from the cities towns and villages okay these all should be far from these areas now here are the exercises take the correct one in the following statement first one from nose air goes to the lungs okay through the to blood windpipe or heart yes b is the correct answer through windpipe windpipe is a tube like a structure yes second at the end trachea or windpipe is divided into how many parts two parts very good our respiratory system does not include which part yes c heart and cough asthma are caused by cough and asthma these are the diseases caused by which type of yes a is the part that one is polluted air children you have to revise your assignment and do your assignment on the daily basis okay and as much as you can please go through the lesson one by one and here are the answers b windpipe c two parts c heart and a polluted air now label the diagram next exercise here as you can see one picture is here you have to label first one air enters into our body through nose good a tube like structure what is that tube like structure through which air enters into lungs yes that one is windpipe or trachea and through windpipe air enters into these two balloon like a structure what are these yes lungs good and you have to do the practice of this diagram in your rough notebook okay now next one here is a activity for you to count your breath okay 
what are the steps you have to take first one run for 5 to 10 minutes and count your breath how many times you breathe in a minute second step rest for 5 minutes and again you have to count your breath how many times you breathe in a minute okay now you have to compare the number of these two after running and after taking the rest and try to find the answer of why is the difference coming after running and after taking rest okay we will discuss the answer of this question in the next video children you have to like and subscribe so you can get your my next video update okay and try to find out all the answers of the assignment as we have given to you okay and please complete your assignment till then bye bye we will see you in the next video see you again bye